Welcome to The Devil's Lair with Randy Meadows and Todd Gann. Welcome back. Welcome back yet again. (laughs) One more time, Randy. One more time. Welcome back. (laughs) We were all here a little early tonight, and I guess Donovan's not used to that, so (laughs) everything's out of whack on his end, and we're not helping him any. That's right, and it's a Tuesday, not a Wednesday also. (laughs) That's right. So um, so we're back with you. The Devil's Lair. I'm Randy Meadows. And I'm Todd Gann, and we're certainly glad you're joining us tonight. We hope to bring you some good information, and and maybe have a little fun on the way. (laughs) It's been fun already, so... Um, anyways, before we start, there's a camera. There's one right here in front of us that, that's recording, and there's one back that gets a, a wider angle. And uh, <laughs> apparently that's because I'm so wide. And uh, we, we so we've got that going. So whenever you see that, you see actually what's going on in the studio yeah. and not just this, this tight shot. And I don't know all the technical terms for that. Donovan, you probably do in all your infinite wisdom. So Well, you know, Randy, it's really better than CNN. You know, CNN, I was up there this weekend. You know, they got the little cameras right there in front of Folks, and then also, you know, they got the shots that you can see the whole studio. So that's kind of the way we are. I mean, you know, we're we're probably bigger and better than CNN. We're bigger. I don't know. Uh, well, yeah. say better, <laughs> but we are bigger for for sure. So, for sure, that's right. Well, anyways, it's it's been uh, two weeks since we've been back, and uh, you know, there's been a few things go on. Yeah, uh, that's right. Tiff County Athletics. Um, anything you want to touch on well, first? You know, Randy. You know, you got some of our winter sports kind of. You know, have just wrapped their seasons up or wrapping their seasons up. You know, um, the uh, state wrestling championships were this past weekend, and you were fortunate enough to be able to go to watch some of that. Uh, we had three kids from Tiff County that uh, qualified, uh, you know, and, um, you know, one of our kids, uh, Bo Bergeron, actually finished third in the state, which is great um, to be able to do that. Yeah, definitely. So, you know, um, you kind of want to give us a little I'd, little insight as to what went on while you were up there in Macon? Um, certainly. We... Uh I didn't get it, get up there as early as I wanted to because uh, we had to work. I I work so hard at my job, so we um, <laughs> Donovan <laughs> rolls his eyes. So um, w- we got up there late Friday night. I didn't get to see any of the Friday night action, right. but I did get to see the Saturday morning um, action. We had three kids actually um, actually participate. Right. We had Bo Bergeron, who mm-hmm. we mentioned finished third. Right. We had uh, Jesse Snow in the lightweight division of 285. Mm -hmm. Um, And then we had, do what now? The lightweights, yeah. Yeah, he he was a lightweight. Absolutely. And um, then we had Malcolm Robinson. Right. Mm -hmm. And uh, those three kids qualified uh, and made it into the state tournament. Exactly. Um, Jesse Jesse wrestled two matches Mm -hmm. and and was beat twice. Right. But... um, with everything that kids went through in the past year and a half, listen, man. I, you know Ooh. he's he's had a he's had a phenomenal season this year, Randy. You know he, he really has. I've watched him two or three years, you know now, and um, he just kind of came into his own this year. Um, he, you know, I, Jesse's one of those kids. He's a good kid. He's a big kid, and I think his mind and his control of his body kind of caught up with the rest of his body this year, so to speak. You know, <laughs> I mean, he's a big kid, and it just kind of all kind of came together for him this year. Um, you know, plays, you know, football as well, dual sport kid, and just a good kid. And for him to make it to state this year, man, I was proud of him, very proud of him. Me too. You know, we kind of expected Bo to be there. Exactly. And we, you know, Malcolm was a pleasant right. surprise. It and, was, it was. But Jesse really, man, if any could, any kid out there, if if I had a team on, a uh, spot on that team, I would give it up to Jesse and Harvey. Oh, yeah, man. absolutely. Good kid. He helps us at our USA practices. Right. And, and he, he does – he he does a phenomenal he job. Does. So, he's, um, but you know, he just he met he. I asked him Saturday. I said, mm-hmm. Jesse, what do you think about the competition right. up here? He said, I learned one thing. I said, What's that? He said, They're pretty daggum good. <laughs> I right. said, Well, I tell you what, buddy. I said, The good news is you're 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 you got hey, another year. I said, The bad exactly news right. is you, you're not going to wrestle no more this weekend. I said, But uh, that's right. And he was he was a great teammate. And you know, that's right. That well, kind of stuff know, carries over, man. Hey, when you make it to state. You know, individual like that. I mean, you know, that's the cream of the crop in wrestling. So, you know, hats off to it. Hats off all these kids. All of them, exactly. Um, Malcolm Robinson, now, he, he went in and wrestled wow. a kid in the first round named Blake Walker. Uh-huh. Uh, this this kid, Blake Walker, is from Cherokee County. Mm-hmm. Blake Walker actually wrestled for the um, championship Saturday right. evening. Mm-hmm. 
So he got beat the first round by, by this the kid, mm-hmm. by the by, by the uh, second place, second winner. place, right. Mm-hmm. So and then he goes in and wrestles one, two, three more times. He ends up losing um, in wrestlebacks to a kid five to three. Mm-hmm. And right. I mean, he was almost there, and he he almost made it, and he right. did a phenomenal job. Yeah. I think he went a little further than even he. Anticipated. Well, you know, to lose that first round, then come back and win a couple rounds. To you know, to go deep in the constellation round. I mean, that that's great. I mean, you know, um, certainly. Uh, most a lot of times when you go up there, you kind of run up some studs and kind of get put out that first second round, and that's it. You know, but to come back and wrestle as well as he did, that, that's good. Yeah, I agree. There was a lot of good competition up there, mm-hmm. and um, you know, we were we were lucky just to be in the game in, in some aspects. That's right. So, that's exactly right. Um, well, let's talk about Bo, man, because he finished third and he did a phenomenal job. Right, exactly. Um, exactly. His his Friday match, he he wrestled. He won his first match, mm-hmm. and that put him in the uh, in the second round against right. a kid named Gant Bauer from Lambert. Right. Mm-hmm. And I know nothing about Lambert. Me either. <laughs> um, I do know they were on the board and they were uh-huh. all over. They have a pretty right. good wrestling program. Mm-hmm. So, um, Gant actually also wrestled for the championship. championship. He mm-hmm. ended up finishing second, second. and Bo mm-hmm. lost in triple overtime. Right. And it was just kind of a heartbreaking loss for him. Oh, he, yeah. he, he wrestled his behind off. Um, the Bauer kid has two losses on the season going into this, and one of them was from Bo. Right. That's exactly right. And the other one was from Travis Register, who's mm-hmm. from Moultrie. Moultrie, exactly. And yeah. which is one of Bo's big rivals. That's so, exactly right. um, it phenomenal, was kind of another phenomenal wrestler. Yeah. And Travis Register actually won the weight class. Right. Mm-hmm. And from from Moultrie, so kudos to him. But you know, big ups to to Bo Bergeron because he. Wrestled his behind he off, did. and um, you know that's great. You know, um, you know, and I, I think you had an opportunity to talk to Bo a little bit and do a little interview with him. And you know, you know, Donovan, if you want to cue that up, we'll show that that's at this right. point in time. What a good kid, man! Good afternoon, everybody. Uh, I'm Randy Meadows. I'm with the uh, third place, uh, uh, third third place medalist at uh, GHSA State. Uh, wrestling. That's Bo Bergeron. Welcome to the show, Bo. Um, first of all, it's congratulations because everybody at Tiff County uh, is, is truly proud of you. And uh, I've, I've told you that I was. And yes, sir. Um, what a what a great win for you. It was monumental for for everybody and for the wrestling program here going forward. So uh, we all want to thank you and, and we appreciate what you did. So uh, sit sit back and we'll interview you. Show everybody your medal. Nice little medal. I don't know if Donovan can get on that tighter. Good. And uh, first of all, when did you start wrestling? Um, I started wrestling in seventh grade. I ended up not playing football, and I just wanted to do something after school. So you started wrestling in seventh grade. Well, that was good. Um, How has wrestling progressed from when you were in seventh grade to now? Well, in seventh grade, like my coaches told me in the past, I couldn't wrestle my way out of a wet paper bag. (laughs) Well... I guess you showed them, didn't you? Yes, sir. <laughs> well, good. That's wonderful, man. And uh, has wrestling influenced or helped your football prowess? Yes, sir. Like, I don't really know how to explain it. Just how, like my intimidation and like I can't think of the word for it. Um, it's kind of just give you that swagger, maybe that like that my kind, aggressiveness. Yeah, you being yes, being aggressive, sure. That's, that's how I know our young wrestlers, they start out not very aggressive, and then by the time it's all said and done, they're pretty aggressive, and and that's good. I mean, <clears throat> when people put aggression with things, they, they look at it in a negative light, but wrestling gives it a good, a positive light. So, And that certainly has helped you on the football field because uh, what what few games I got to see this year, I noticed you kind of stood out above everybody else. So so good, and congratulations to you on that. So um, what advice do you have for that seventh grader who's just starting, sixth and seventh grader who's just starting in wrestling? I mean, you're going to lose some matches here and there, but you just don't want to dwell on it. You just want to keep going, going to practice, work on what you can do, and just get better. Certainly, certainly. Well, that's that's wonderful. Um, do you have any hobbies? What do you like to do in your spare time? Oh, just a normal teenage stuff, just playing Xbox, eating, just. Eat? You can't eat and be make weight. What, no. what do you like to eat when you're not trying to make weight? Um, red beans and rice. I hear you. That's Cajun coming out in here. Yes, <laughs> um, what? Uh, how, do you struggle with with maintaining your weight? 
And not necessarily like my walking around weights about two twenty five. Yeah, so it's just I had to weigh two twenty three. So it was just a couple pounds. Yeah, when, at your age, it's, it's probably pretty easy to do, right? Yes, sir. That's good. I know a lot of people do struggle with their weight, so that's wonderful. Um, what's your favorite band? Your singer? Um, probably Coldplay. Coldplay. Okay, I, I had you as a Bieber fan, but I mean, no, man. Coldplay works too. I mean, <laughs> well, well, good. Um, going into the season, I think you were, I think you were kind of favorite to to be, you know, to 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 win it and be in there, and yes, you sir. came really close to to being in that that finals. Um, how was that Friday? You got beat in was it five overtimes? Is what was, somebody told me. I wasn't there yet. It was triple overtime. Triple overtime. Yes, you lost by two points by takedown, I guess. A reversal. A reversal. I'm sorry. Right. Um, so I mean, you were right there. Just about, I mean, you were almost in there, and you didn't, and that's okay. Um, we, we finished third, and that's great, man. We're proud of you, but uh, you were almost there. Now, it, it seemed like you had a little bit of a target on you from the beginning of the season, just through some people I have talked to. When I go places and wrestle, they ask me about you. And, you know, that's a, that's a wonderful thing. So what was your motivation going into this season? What was it? Was it that you had a target on you? Was that motivation, or did oh, you have some other stuff? There hasn't been a state champion since. Like 1997, maybe in Tiff County, and mm-hmm. since Coach Watson's been here, he hasn't had one. And I wanted to be the first. Yeah, well, man, you were so close. It was heartbreaking, and I hate it, but it's kind of losses build character, and you know, you're the kind of kid that'll bounce back from it. So, um, again, not to take any away from third place because you you wrestled your behind off. So, um, well, good. That that was your motivation. What what is your pre match ritual? I know every every kid because when I saw you Saturday. Somebody made a comment to me. Is like, hey, does he realize he has to wrestle in a few minutes? And I was like, I said, hey man, everybody's got their own deal. So, well, usually my family always goes. I always sit with them, and then we go through and we hug every single one of them. And then my aunt and I pray. Before. Wonderful. That is awesome. So it was funny. I was, I went up to Coach Watson Saturday, and I said, uh, "Where's Bo's family?" He said, "They're across the way from us." I said, "Okay." So you won your match, and then like the whole section over there stood up, all 28, 30, 106, however many y'all brought. There. I saw the whole section over there stand up, and I was like, okay, there they are. I couldn't see them way over there. So um, so good. I'm, I'm glad. I'm glad that family's important to you. I knew that it was, but not everybody does. So um, <clears throat> what, is the, uh, what is your biggest rival? Do you have a rival? I do. I'd have to say it was Travis Register from Cockwood. He, uh. He ended up winning. Yes, sir. He ended up winning the state, and you guys had some great matches this year. Now, how long has that rivalry, has that rivalry been going on since this year, or well, have you wrestled, carried it through school? We wrestled in eighth grade, and he beat me pretty bad. And then in ninth grade, I bumped up to 215 then, and I wrestled him. And it just hadn't been good. Like, we wrestled off and on since this year, about yeah. every year. Well, that's good. And he's from Cockwood, right? Yes, he's sir. he's from Moultrie, and he he won state this year. He's he's a gr- uh, r- really good wrestler, and you've beat him a couple of times this year. If I don't, if yes, I remember correctly. I beat him at the region duels. Right at the duels. Okay, no problem. Well, good. Um, now what is to you? What is the hardest thing about wrestling? Because apparently your weight's not a big issue yes, to you. What else, what's the toughest thing for you? Probably just like working on your moves and making sure everything's right, and probably your nerves before a match. Well, you hide it well, because like somebody said to me, he's like, does he realize he's got a match here shortly? And you, uh, you, you look cool as a cucumber, man. I was like, okay, he's got this. And I uh, just have seen so much wrestling. It kind of scared me a little. I was like, man, he's not ready. He's not ready. And then you went out there. I was like, okay, he's got this. What am I thinking of? So um, anyways, but uh, well, good. What, what's the easiest part of wrestling to you? Um, There's nothing easy about it, I guess, is there? Not necessarily. <laughs> I was just getting your hand raised. I mean, I'm not saying that's the easy part. It's just probably the most deserving part. I hear you. Great answer. That's, that's phenomenal. And, uh, you know, what kills me about wrestling is sometimes the referee just barely holds your hands up. Man, hold it up, man. That's what I want to see. Hold that. You know, you worked hard for that victory. Hold the hand up. So um, are you like my kid? Do you sit around and like YouTube wrestling videos and that my, kind of stuff? And My older brother Jackson and I, after Sundays on church or Sundays after church, we always go and we'll look stuff up. We're big fans of the little Steve O. Poland kid. Okay. The who now? What is he's um Steve O. Poland. He's from like Connecticut or something. He's like nine years old and I know who you're talking about. Yeah, that little kid's bad. Yeah. 
he's tough. So, well, good. It's not just my kid. That makes me feel better. That question was really for me, not really for everybody. It was for me. I just wanted to make sure my kid was normal. So, um, what's the best advice that you have ever been given? Um, at the very first tournament we had this season, my dad told me to do what you love and to love what you do. And it just kind of stuck with it. Well, good. And you're certainly doing that. So, um, after winning third this weekend, um, you, you were excited, and, and it, it made me excited. And uh, I, It was the most emotion I've ever seen Coach Watson put out. Can you describe what you were feeling? I mean, it wasn't first place like I wanted, but to bounce back and get third, I mean, I was kind of excited, and I got to finish my senior year on a win. Certainly. Um, I, I, I emailed you and told you earlier how excited I was for you, man. It just it got me so excited about the state of Tiff County Wrestling. And, you know, as a team, we didn't fare as well as we wanted to. But like I said, man, you kind of set the tone for what's going to happen in the future for Tiff County Wrestling. And uh, that means the world to me, having a kid, you know, going to be a ninth grader next year and seeing all the younger kids that I help in USA coming up, man, that, that's a bit, like I said, a monumental win. And we're all extremely proud of you. So you plan on wrestling at the next level? I do, yes, sir. There's a couple of schools that are looking at me right now. And Coach Watson and I are going to take some trips to go see them. That's good. Anybody you want to share with us? Um, there are a couple that I like right now. The University of North Carolina, Pembroke, the Cumberlands in Kentucky, Indiana University, and Life University. Super. All good programs. Um, we had a state, uh, yeah, state tournament at Life um, a few years back, and uh, they're really progressing, and, and Hicks is up there now. Yes, he sir. qualified for the NAIAs this weekend, so... A lot of good things going on at Life and, and, and all those other schools, too. I, I watch the Big Ten Network for the wrestling, and I see Indiana wrestle on there all the time. So um, you definitely would help them. So um, how have you left your mark on Tiff County Wrestling? Well, like I said, Coach Watson hasn't had a state champion, and he's never had a sectionals champion until this year whenever I won the East sectional qualifier. The place third at state, I mean, that's his highest placer in Tiff County. Yeah. So. so you have. You've definitely made your mark on Tiff County. And uh, like I said, it's going to progress and get stronger from here. So in a few years and even next year, we're going to look back and be like, hey, man, Bo did it. And and he's going on to do great things. So um, all of us here in Tiff County and with the Devil's Lair, obviously, we wish you the best of luck and uh, everything that you do. We're here for you. If you need anything, yes, feel sir. free to let us know. Um, and we appreciate it, man. Yes, sir. Thank you. Thank you, Bo. Uh, Bo Bergeron, the uh, third place uh, third place placer at uh, GHSA 2012-2013. What's the, what's, what does it say? What's on the shirt? Uh, traditional state, pl state championships. Can't get that right. I'm sorry. But, uh, but if you see him on the street, shake his hand. Thank him for representing our community, and uh, he's he's definitely what Tiff County Athletics are all about. So, again, uh, Bo Bergeron. Great interview, Randy. <laughs> um, you know, phenomenal kid. Um, certainly proud of him, proud of what he's done, representing Tiff County the way he's represented Tiff County. And, man, you know, that interview just kind of speaks volumes of what kind of kid he is. I mean, he's, he's humble. Um, you know, just just a good kid, man. Just a good kid. Uh, I'm very proud of both. Very proud of him. Yeah, we all are, man. And being being a part of the the wrestling family, uh, you know, obviously that's I, I mean, every word I said, we all look up to him, and he's he's what you know our kids should strive to be. That's so. exactly right. That's exactly right. You know, and and that's I think that's kind of what wrestling should be about, anyway. You know, and um, you know that that little spirit that he's got in him. You know that that. Carries a wrestler a long way. Yep. Long way. I totally agree. So, so great interview. Appreciate you doing that. No problem. Um, that's a, a, a good end to the wrestling season this yeah, year. It you was. Know, the, the kids were down a little bit, you know, just from a talent situation. You know, and, and, you know, and, you know, we've had some injuries and what have you. And just, that's right. You know, not the season we really had hoped for this year. Well, you know, but coming but off what, a region championship that, last year. Exactly, especially. exactly. You know. But, you know, going into it, Coach Watson, you know, he knew he had a young team. He's, you know, in that point where he's, you know, going to be rebuilding some. And, um, you know, but, uh, he, he, you know, had a good season all in all. Really that's right. did. I uh, agree. There, there's some young kids coming up that's going to help the, that's the program exactly right. too. That's and, exactly right. 
And kids like Jesse Snow getting state experience is nothing. Oh, gosh, yeah. You know, Absolutely. Nothing but help our program. Absolutely. So. Absolutely. So, you know, look forward to a bigger, better year next year. Man, exactly. So, well, um, let's move on, Todd. We got the air rifle. Air rifle. Yeah. They're still kind of in the... In their swing of things there. Yeah, they're, still... they're in a dead week this week. Uh-huh. Um, we talked about it earlier. We were talking about before, but when the uh, wide camera angle was on us, <laughs> we were talking about uh, actually how many riflery teams there are. Right. Mm-hmm. And we said, well, there can't be too many. Well, we were wrong. I mean, there's quite a few out right. there. So um, in Tiff County's area, I'm going to go through those teams real quick. you got America Sumter. you got Coffee, Colquitt. Uh, Crisp, Dodge County, Dooley, Fitzgerald, Lee County, Tift, Turner, Westover, Wilcox, and Worth. So that is a, a large yeah. number of schools, and a lot of people who may may not know are like, yeah, those schools aren't, you know, 1-6-A. Right. It was, right. It's an area for all schools. That's right. Exactly. Yeah. And, you know, they, they break it down, and you actually have a champion Right of the whole state, not just of a, a classification, right, exactly. which is which is what I like. That's pretty neat. You know, it is pretty neat. Um, you know, that's probably about 120 or so teams. You know, statewide. So you know, that's quite a few kids. Um, you know, and it's you know, and I think it's probably a group of elite kids. You know what I'm? You know, they're probably academically are very sound students. Um, you know, because you know, sports a discipline sport. Um, you know, it just. So you telling me that I wouldn't be able to go out there and shoot targets? Well, you know, I, <laughs> well, that challenge is still out there for us to go out there and kind of match up with some of those kids. So we'll see how we do. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, told, I told my wife, I said, uh, I said, me and Todd want to go out there and challenge a couple of the kids from the riflery team. She said, this is funny, she said, Randy. You can't even hit the toilet. What makes you think you can shoot a rifle? <laughs> and I started laughing. So that might be the funniest thing my wife uh, has ever said to me. So that's pretty good. I um, mean, there's a lot of truth yeah. in it, unfortunately. So, unfortunately, there is. Um, huh? wow. Anyways, well, let, let's get to some results that yeah, they had. That's let's right. uh, get off the toilet humor. Literally. That's right. <laughs> um, last week, uh, the riflery, riflery team <laughs> went to uh, Fitzgerald. Mm-hmm. Uh, they won. Ten seventy seven to eight ninety, right. which apparently is a blowout. Yeah, I, I think it is. Um, you know, um, yeah, we still don't quite understand the scoring, how it works. <laughs> That's and, right. You know, what's a great score, a good score, what have you. Apparently, that is a blowout. It's almost like uh, a soccer score being like seven to nothing. You know, that's a, that's a blowout. That's a blowout. That's right. So you know, um, so <clears throat> um, that, that that was over in Fitzgerald. Yep, that was in Fitzgerald. Um, the top four shooters for the night were Hannah Rucker, mm-hmm. Miles McDonald, mm-hmm. Dylan Merritt, and Sarah Willis. Um, Coach Rucker said that they were down a little bit right. and whatnot. They let mm-hmm. some young shooters shoot because mm-hmm. Fitzgerald is typically uh, an easy win. Right. You know, not to take anything away from them, but you know, it is what it is. That's right. And, you know, good man. Well, you the know, more experience you get out there, that's exactly that right. That extra shooter she's been looking for. That's uh, where you find that's them. Where you develop them, that's and find ex- them. You know, and it gives them a chance <clears> to compete. <throat> you know, in a in an actual match, see how they do. Because you know, practice versus an actual match. I mean, it's different. The pressures are a little different. So that's great. To you know, she's can allow some kids to do that. Yeah, my kid tells me all the time that he's not a good practicer. He's a gamer. He's a gamer, not he's a, a practicer. Gamer, not a practicer. And I beg to differ with you. So. Oh, me. But that's, that's pretty good. <laughs> so you know, there, it, yeah. It, it, you know, so that, that's some names we hadn't heard yet this season. You yeah, know? that's right. Um, so it's great to see some other folks stepping up to the plate and, you know, contributing to the team. Yeah, certainly. Um, the, re- the wrestling team, the air rifle team has a week off this week, mm-hmm. and then they have their uh, final home match next week. Against Turner, and then they gotta go to Moultrie for their final match on March seventh, mm-hmm. and then they'll be gearing up for the uh, areas, yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah, which are the schools that we mentioned. Right, mm-hmm. um, areas are going to be at Worth County mm-hmm. on the eighth of March, mm-hmm. so that's a Friday, I believe, is it not? I think it may yeah. be. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Maybe we can get over there and check that out. Right. With the baby on the way, it's going to be hard for me to go anywhere that week, but uh, <laughs> but we'll see. Maybe I can ease over there and. And catch some of that because it's not every day you get to see, you know, rivalry. Yeah, that's right. Exactly. Exactly. So maybe I can learn a little bit about it. And well, you know, and again, I think it's one of those sports like wrestling. You know, when you go as a spectator and start watching, you kind of start picking up on scoring, how it all works, and 
you know, get a better idea of uh, the sport and um, better appreciation for it. Yeah, I agree. So those kids have been doing a, a real good job, and they 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 have a feeder program that works through the 4-H. And right, exactly. I think David Hare helps with that. Yeah, a lot exactly. of people know David Hare. Oh, yeah. and, been about for a long time. That's right. It. He's been doing it a while, and, mm-hmm. and they have a good program going. Right. And, and, you know, it's like it's like everything else. It's going to take time to get that's where they need to be. And not that our team is down by any stretch. Them kids are, oh, yeah. are shooting fine and getting that's, better. That's so, right. Exactly. exactly so yeah. we wish them all the luck in the world. Hey, you know, we're still in our infancy in this rifle program. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you know, uh, we're not, you know, Cockrell County has been around for a pretty good while. And they're, I think they, they're known around the state. You know, you spoke of targets earlier. You know, and mm-hmm. I think Moultrie's one of those schools that has a target on their back when it comes to air rifle. Yep, that's exactly right. So getting better every week. That's so exactly we'll right. keep you posted on how they that's do it at areas. That's it. So, um, but, uh, you know, got that going on. Still a little bit left there. A swim team just kind of wrapped their season up. Uh, they went to state, uh, what, two weekends ago, I believe it was. Mm-hmm. And, um, you know, they, they fared okay. Um, you know, didn't uh, maybe – do as well as Coach Mullins and hoped, uh, but we had some kids that, you know, performed some of their best performances, you know, their careers. Yeah, that's right. They're getting better. That's, you know, that's all you can ask for out of a team is to that's get better a, every week. That's exactly right, you know, and once again, that's another one of those sports that we're relatively um, new to and you know, I'm still trying to learn and we're um, still wearing our floaties. Still, <laughs> that might it. be a little degrading to the, mm, to the swim team. I, I don't. Yeah, I don't mean know. it that way. So I'll, well, I'll, I'm going to retract that. You know, maybe when they go out there, they don't have lifeguards. We still have lifeguards. <laughs> maybe, maybe, maybe that's what it is. <laughs> that's right. So, <laughs> uh, um, speaking of them, uh, coach said that they they swam pretty well at state. Um, the boys' 200 free relay of Hunter Cross, JP Shore. Mm-hmm. Benjamin Dean and Connor Jacobson set a school record while they're there, right. so mm-hmm. um, that was good. Benjamin oh, yeah. Dean went on a lifetime best of fifty-one seconds in the one hundred free. Mm-hmm. So, and then then the girls four hundred relay uh, team of Mary Shoot, Caitlin Seymour, Kendall King, and Anna Lee Atwater they set a school record with uh, with their performance, and mm-hmm. then Caitlin Seymour had a lifetime best of fifty-nine seconds. So. Mm-hmm. You know, they did some things, set some personal, you know, broke some personal goals exactly. and did some you things. Know, hey, that's great, you know, and to do it in an environment like that where you're in a state tournament, you know, that's that's even better. Yeah. You know, Georgia Tech's got it going on. They had uh, the state swim meet. Man, they got I'm basketball t- coming up. I'm telling you. They're uh, revamping Georgia Tech's uh, campus. They are. You know, a lot of things happening. Um, you know, we were up in Atlanta this past weekend for a um, cheer meet, and, um, man, Atlanta was hopping. There was, there was things going on everywhere, and, you know, this was, uh, w- w- there were 900 teams competing at this national cheer championship we were at. And there were teams there from Alaska and Hawaii. Oh, my. So, you know, um, Atlanta, Atlanta has it going on. <laughs> Alaska was right at home with that cool weather you had. Oh, ab- weekend. absolutely. It was. It but was. Hawaii was about to die. Uh, oh, my yeah, goodness. they were about to freeze, I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, interesting. That's exactly right. But, um, you know. Swim team, their their season's wound up now, and I actually talked to a parent of a uh, one of the swim team swim team members <laughs> last night, and um, he said they'll be out of pool for about a week, and then they go right back at it. You oh know, um, I didn't realize <laughs> that was the case, but you know, there you know other opportunities for them to compete and that sort of thing. So, well, that's wonderful, man. Yeah, they uh, exactly jump right back in the pool. Jump right back in the pool, exactly. Because I'm sure they're ready for the weather to warm up to jump right back in the pool. <laughs> like, well, they got to get the prune hands, got to let them tighten back up, and that, then they'll that, jump yeah, back in and, yeah, and exactly, be ready to, be go, ready to so. go. So that's exactly right. So, um, Randy, you want to talk a little bit about some basketball? Basketball season's still ongoing, and <clears throat> regular season's over, and it's playoff time. Well, you know, basketball is the sport, is the high school football of the winter, winter time. Season. Exactly. That's and, exactly right. you know, <clears throat> it is what it is. It, it pulls away from other sports just like football does, mm-hmm. but um, equally important. I, I guess the first thing we need to touch on about the basketball team is um, I, I want to focus on, first of all, that they both won region, region. Uh, tournament title, region tournament title, exactly. The, this past weekend, mm-hmm. um, so kudos to them, That's to right. the coaches and the and mm-hmm. the players and the kids. Mm-hmm. But I guess second of all, we need to touch on is the um, accusations that were, or the investigation that investigation. was ongoing about the team and recruiting right. the mm-hmm. boys team, doing some recruiting, mm-hmm. and Turner County was not happy with it, and 
turned us into the GHSA, right. which apparently was fine with everybody. You well, know, you know, GHSA came back, and you know, they they found no reason to uh, hand out any sanctions to Tiff County. So you know. Move on. Uh, to, to quote him, it says, <laughs> after an extensive investigation, it could not be verified that Tiff, Tiff was guilty of any recruiting violations. Mm -hmm. So, um, you know, plain as day, GHSA says, you know, well, no wrongdoings. You know, um, you know and, and Rusty Smith said it's good to, to be vindicated and mm -hmm. that they, they feel good about the situation because GHSA had approved every one of their players. So right. basically GHSA said, hey, look, all these guys are good and ready to play. You know, so if they wouldn't have been, they would have That's right. addressed it then. So um, they didn't have really, you know, you, anytime there's an investigation, you kind of sit on pins and needles. It's like me swiping my debit card, you know. <laughs> cross your fingers. Cross your fingers. <laughs> and like, you know there's money in there, but you just don't ever know. That's right. So anything can happen. Anything can happen. <laughs> so, uh, but uh, Coach Holland said that uh, he just let the powers that be handle it, and he said he wasn't wor worried because he knew that he had done nothing wrong. So mm -hmm. um, there you go. They, they were, they did have a, find a violation saying that the kids did have an illegal practice. Right. Back in November of 11, I um, believe. Is that right? Yeah, back in November of 2011. And you know what? I mean, if that's all they could find, then I'm not saying it's right. What I'm saying is that there's a lot of sports in a lot of places that may be practiced a little earlier than they should. Well, you, you know, I, I think there are probably some sports that, quite honestly, they never stop practicing. Yeah, swim team. I'm just saying. I'm not. I'm just. <laughs> you know, I'm not saying what's right and what's wrong. You know, or, I mean, you know, you get a couple of high school kids out in the backyard throwing a football. I mean, that that's as good as practice as anything. I mean, <laughs> yeah. You know, I, you know, official practice, not official. Yeah. I guess there's some fine lines there, and I think I think as you know, you may have a little more insight to this being an official. I think when it comes down to GHSA and when they're where they're concerned, I think it's if there's coach on site and there's the coach is actually coaching, and it's not a time of year they're supposed to be right a structured practice. I look at it like this, man. If a kid's got a ball and running with it, that's better than them having a TV and running absolutely with it. or. Out or the street out, running. You know, shooting a gun or, uh, you exactly. know what I mean? Just being, just being, Listen, doing something, being a you know, in general. You know, right, of course, you know, you and I both know, I mean, I got a kid involved in football and, you know, um, right now there's kids that, you know, on their own, they go out and do whatever in the afternoons after school because that's what they want to do, because they want to get better. You know, nobody's requiring them to do it or asking them to do it. They go out there because they love what they're doing and they want to get better. Yep, you can't be mad about that. No, so, absolutely not. Well, um, let's let's talk about the uh, the tournament game the other day. Um, apparently, before the game, Coach Holland made a deal with Coach Connor that mm -hmm. um, if they would go in there and handle business, then he would come right behind them and handle business. Right. And it was win win for the boys and the girls, yeah, it man. Was. So it was. I was I was exuberant and excited and happy that they both won. Um, Especially the girls, man. They took a lump the last two they games did. against they really did. You know, they were on a roll there, and, you know, things were looking really great. And I think they kind of got knocked off the rails just a little bit. And for them to bounce back like they did, you know, that that's that was great to see. And I know Coach Connor and the whole team, all the other coaches were, you know, extremely excited about that. Well, certainly. We, we said it before that um, we uh, – <laughs> <laughs> You're right. <laughs> Somebody out there said it's better to pass the ball instead of passing the bottle. So uh, that's funny, but um, the, but true. <laughs> yeah, it's funny but true. But um, they they had uh, the girls. We said a couple weeks ago. You know, sometimes you need a good loss to yeah, get that do. fire back that's, in. That's you. exactly and right. Yeah. I think we mentioned it about the city county boys. We is did. actually who we talked exactly. about. And exactly. The girls were in the same boat, man. Yeah. I don't know that they. You never want a loss, but maybe it, you know. It came at the right time. If, it, if you're going to have a loss, it came at the right time. That's right. You know, you kind of set yourself up for, you know, postseason there. And you know. I know Coach Julie and Coach Eric right now are just spitting nails thinking about that. We're saying that. <laughs> like, we don't ever want to lose, but, you know, they see and what you we don't. mean. That's right. You don't want to lose. But, but if you, you have to lose, at least it's, you know what I mean? It may be the lights of fire. That's exactly right. Sometimes the losing you know, the timing of the losing. That's right. It's just like being an assistant coach and getting a technical foul like I heard Coach Eric did. Um, <laughs> maybe it fired the girls up. Right. Exactly. And hey, timing. That, and, that's right. That's exactly right. And it did. But uh, <laughs> I, I, 
I read that in the paper that Coach Willis got a, a technical foul, and I know how fiery he is. Oh, absolutely. Um, um, you talk about somebody's passionate about yes, sir. Whatever it is he's playing or <laughs> yes, coaching, sir. He's passionate about it, and I, I'm sure he, you know, in retrospect, he's probably a little regretful, but he might not be. I, no, no. When no. I see him, I'm gonna ask him <laughs> if, if he's, you know, uh, he's moved on. He's, I'm sure. Well, I know he has. I, I know Coach Will as well, and I know he's done moved on. I, I know he has, but the problem <laughs> is, is sometimes these officials you'll see down the road. Oh yeah, and fi- officials don't forget. That's true. You know what I mean? They don't. Some of them I, don't anyway, and some of them will hold it against you. I've just I've seen it happen. I, I hope I'm not one of them. Right. I try not to be, but right. th- that's how it goes. That's so. exactly right. But uh, anyway, so the girls come out and won 57-50, and then uh, 90 minutes later, the Devils come out and right. just kind of handle business, 88-72 against the Brunswick Pirates. Yeah. And and hey, they won. That's exactly right. And, you know, I think we alluded to it earlier, uh, one of our other episodes, that Brunswick's no slouch. I mean, they're, no. they're a good good ball team. So, yeah. Um, we went and watched we the won, play. We that's exactly right. We did, and, um, you know, pretty fire little team. Yeah, they're scrappy, and they, they, they do a lot. They so. do. Um, after the win, Coach Connor said she can't describe the feeling of joy that this is so awesome. And I can see her saying that. And, oh, yeah. You know, we talked about seasons and whatnot. You know, she had, she's had a rough season she this has, year. She you has, know, on a personal level. On the medical, per- that's, that's you right. Know, medical issues she's dealt with. So, you know, um, there again, timing, you know. Um, you know, a little bit of motivation for those kids to go out and perform for their coach. You know, yeah. I, I've seen that happen before. You know, I, you know back in – 83, when Tiff County won the football state championship, you know, we had, we lost a coach that year yep. in a car accident. Mm-hmm. And that kind of inspired the team, I believe. You know, they, they were out there. They were, they were you know, out there for a reason. They were inspired because, because they were so close to Coach Summers and what he meant to them. And, you know, that, that was a little bit of an inspiration there, I believe. Certainly. Um, <clears throat> and, and they're drawing off of that. And maybe that, they keep it going into this state exactly playoff right. run. That's so. exactly right. Um, I, I do want to mention, Todd, that uh, Alexis Johnson led the team in the uh, tournament victory with 19 points. Mm-hmm. Dee Dee DeShazer, DeShazer finished with uh, 15, and uh, Bateman finished with 11. 11. Mm-hmm. Uh, they all three contributed and, and hey, chipped in to make it happen. Oh, yeah. So, you know, that's pretty good scores for, you uh, know. Certainly. You know, wow. That about us, the girls' team's pretty good, man. Oh, yeah. And they might do something in the state tournament. Yeah, they very well probably will, I, you know. I don't know how the brackets all work out, but we may match up with them again somewhere down the road. Yeah, we could. So um, so the girls went in and handled business, and then the boys come out and handled business, too, against Brunswick, man. They, uh, they come out and kind of – it was closer than it was supposed to be. I mean, our inside source um, – <laughs> we'll, we'll, I'm not going to call him a name, but uh, – just inside sources. Just That'll our, do. We know our inside source. He told us that uh, he expected it to be a blowout, not right. and everybody to walk away. Well, the final score ended up. What I say? Final S- score ended up being seventy to fifty-seven. I believe that's correct. Uh huh. No, that, that doesn't it. sound right. I had it right here. I don't know. It, well, it was not what we. Uh, it, it was. It wasn't a walk away. I've got it here. 88 to 72. I'm sorry. Right. So, you know, that's close to me. I mean, <laughs> at the level of these guys are at, you know, they, he pulled the starters in the middle, midway through the right. third. Mm-hmm. And so, you know, he had some guys getting some experience, which may carry us a long ways in the playoffs. That's so, right. That's exactly right. Um, they come out guns a blazing. And, you know, Brandon Green had 36, Todrick Jackson had 22, mm-hmm. and uh, Donnell Tuff had 12. Right. And Donnell Tuff has always got them. He's got those <laughs> those rough numbers that you know he works hard for the points he puts oh, up. Oh, absolutely! And he he has played third fiddle, I guess, on this team. Exactly. And he's a solid player, man. Well, you know, and I think he just gets in there and grinds it out, and just he is a grinder, and he might be the unsung hero of this I, whole team. You know, I believe he probably is. You know, um, I, he just he's he's a phenomenal athlete anyway. He he certainly is, man, and. Uh, you know, so he can get some good looks in in the during the playoffs. Absolutely, and as as they progress, especially. Um, speaking of the playoffs, uh, they host a home game tomorrow yeah, night. That's right. Girls start at six at the mm-hmm. Palace, and the guys will follow that. That's right. Um, now who do we have in the first round? Uh, the girls play Campbell, right? Mm-hmm. And I don't know where they're from. And the guys play McEachern, right? And 
you know, obviously both of those teams finish fourth mm-hmm. in their their division. Mm-hmm. So, right. mm-hmm. but you can't go, you can't take that for anything. Oh, we no. know McEachern's put out good athletes. That's exactly right. And we don't know a lot about Campbell. Yeah. <clears throat> so we we need everybody out at the palace tomorrow to support mm-hmm. the uh, the girls mm-hmm. and the boys. Mm-hmm. And I plan on being there in time to see the girls tip it off, and I'll be there for the duration. So. Um, I'm excited about it, and it's going to be the first girls' game I get to actually sit right. through from beginning to end. I say I'm going to get to. I hope things don't get crazy <laughs> at work tomorrow, but I plan on being there before six to see the girls. So wow. um, I'm excited about it and looking forward to it. Good deal. So that's basketball, kind of where we're at with basketball. You know, here we are, tournament time, and we'll uh, see how we do. Yeah, I wish them all the best Absolutely. in the tournament. Absolutely. And we'll talk about it. I do want to mention a couple of things real quick. Brandon Green's number three score in 1 6A. Is that right? In, in the whole state. Mm-hmm. And Todrick Jackson is the 18th well, score. How about that? How and about so that? with that firepower, we yeah. should do well. That's right. And we are the favorite according That's to the AJC. Wow. But you can take that in a dollar and a quarter yeah, and get a mediocre cup of coffee. That's so, exactly right. That's exactly um, right. Brandon Green has, is scoring 24 points a game, mm-hmm. has a total of 504 points on the year. And has a 72% field goal shooting percentage. So, uh, Todrick Jackson is averaging 15.4 mm-hmm. per game, 323 points, and a 67% field goal percentage. So, gotcha. they're uh, they're filling the bucket up and doing very well. That's exactly right. So, good luck to them. That's good luck it. to the Lady Devils this That's weekend. It. So, well, you know, we're getting into springtime, Randy. Yes. Uh, baseball's kicked off. They're actually playing a game right now. They had um, they had a Perry last week, what was it, Friday, I believe it was? Friday evening. And uh, handedly uh, defeated Perry, no problems. And uh, right now they're actually uh, here in Tiff County playing uh, Chris County. Yeah, and, uh, they've got Crisp at home in, in what is a, a pretty good matchup. Uh-huh. Um, the go. last update I got, it's 4-1 to one at the end of the third. Um, this was probably about 15 minutes ago. Yeah. And uh, – Apparently we come out of the gate. I don't know who started pitching tonight. Yeah, I don't know we either. had a few walks mm-hmm. to to get us down a little yeah. early. So um, we've managed to put one run back up on the board. Right. So it's four mm-hmm. to one right four now one. going into the game. So right. uh, Crisp has a pitcher. Yeah, that is going. He's probably going pro. He probably yeah, exactly. Uh, you know he he can go to college wherever he wants to. He's got a little mm-hmm. brother that's kind of in the same boat. Exactly. Exactly. Um, they just have some some really good players, and mm-hmm. we got a few kids this year, man. Our baseball team you know, might. I think, uh, you know, when you're sitting out there on the hill listening to the talk on the hill, you know, Tiff County, uh, there's a lot of lot of good feelings about baseball in Tiff County this year. Uh, you know, folks, you know, close to the, you know, sports say that, you know, we're going to do well. That's uh, right. You know, we got a new coach this year, Coach Kirk, and he's came in, and he's a new sheriff in town, so to speak. And, uh, you know, he's kind of – Set the mark a little higher, I believe, than what was being set in the past. Not to discount any previous coaches or anything like that, but right. um, you know, I, I you know, he he set the high water mark, so to speak. Yeah, well, they are. Um, they've got a good group. They're kind of young. They are. They they've really got are. some young guys. They got um, they got Alex Abbott, who mm-hmm. is uh, one of the top twenty juniors in the country, right. mm-hmm. and. Um, I think he's been committed to Florida since he was a freshman. And right. I don't know how you could commit somewhere as a freshman, but you yeah. know, who am I to judge? That's right. So, That's right. Um, they've got uh, you know they got Briggs Benson as another mm-hmm. young kid, uh, Zeke Dotson, Zeke Dotson, uh, exactly. my buddy Patrick Watson. They, I mean, they got a bunch of young right. kids coming they up. Do. They do. And mix them in with some senior leadership. Right. Um, you got Bullard on the mound right. pitching for right. them, and, and you got kids like Blake Suggs, I, I Suggs. either a junior or senior. I forget what. Grades he's in, he may be a junior this year. I think he might be a junior. Um, so you know, you got a good mix there. You know, <clears throat> yeah, got, got some folks with some experience, and um, you know, uh, Reinhardt catching that right, exactly, exactly. Um, I mean, they got they got some kids in place to do some things with, right. and mm-hmm. and you know, like you said, a new coaching regime. So uh, hopefully, they'll get this thing I, done. I, you know, I think they will. Um, you know, a lot of good vibes in baseball this year. So a lot of good vibes. That's right. So, um, but yeah, they they're playing right now. Uh, Soccer has kicked off. I think soccer team's done fairly well so far. I think they're two or three games into the season right now. I don't really have anything from them, but we will work on that and try. To I've get got some. somebody working on it now Good. to get us some information Good. and was exactly. on in exactly. a schedule. That's right. Um, I believe tennis kicked off today down in Moultrie. Um, so we, uh, you know, springtime is a busy time for 
athletics in Tiff County. It is. Golf team's fixing to kick up. Absolutely. And, uh, I mean, there's just a lot going on in Tiff County. So, mm-hmm. track. Track. That's exactly right. <sighs> so, um, of course, I can't go without mentioning the bass club. That's right. Fishing, fishing club. Fishing club. And Coach Begay, you know, I know they had their tournament uh, two weekends ago, I believe, mm-hmm. maybe. Hadn't heard anything how that went. Uh, need to maybe give him a call and see how that went for him and kind of get a little update on how the fishing club is going. Coach and rooster. Coach so. and rooster. That's exactly right. Um, so, you know, a lot happening, Randy. Um, yeah, definitely. You know, it uh, it never ends. Yeah. It never ends. Um, you know, um, I believe um, come May, though, I'll be having some spring football. So, you know, um, athletics is alive and well in Tiff County. Yep, a lot to be excited about in Tiff County. Absolutely. So, um, what else we got today, Todd? Wow, you know, I, I you know mentioned that uh, you know, um, speaking of soccer, Carly Couch, she just signed with um, Furman University. So kudos out to her. You know, um, you know, I know the Couch is a good, good, good family. You know, had certainly a older sister. Um, you know. Play basketball and soccer, and um, Carly seems to be following in her footsteps there. She she's been really good for a few years she now. Has. I remember when she was a freshman out there playing. And I was like, and I couldn't believe that she was a freshman. So exactly. So you know, kudos out to her. That's right. So you know, I I still can't believe that's Curtis's daughter. So well, you know, she, luckily she looks like her mother. <laughs> yeah, so. that's exactly right. <laughs> <laughs> He'll kill me. He'll absolutely slap me next time he sees uh, me. So nah, he probably agree with you. <laughs> <laughs> he might. So. Um, he's probably buried in a tax return somewhere anyway. <laughs> yeah, yeah so. that's right. It's tax season. He ain't studying us. But, uh, uh, but yeah, she she is a great soccer player. That's man. exactly and right. And I'm glad she's getting an opportunity Absolutely. to get a Furman. That's exactly right. You so, know, um, you know, anytime we got a kid that goes to that next level, you know, we're proud of them. Certainly. You know, and once again, you got any information that you can share with us about some kids out there that are doing some great things, um, you know, share those with us. We'd love to get that on the air for you. And, um, you know, give these kids a little attention that they deserve. That's right. So, um, as always, you can uh, follow us through our, all, all of our social media. Um, we're on Instagram and Facebook and Twitter and <laughs> we're everywhere. Our website, our webpage <laughs> here, uh, where you can watch all this and, and get information to us. So, um, we greatly appreciate any video or oh, pictures absolutely. that you can get mm-hmm. to us, and we'll get it on the air. So, you know, if, um, yeah. you know we're easy to get in touch with. Um, you know, gives us the information. We'd love to share it with the community and whoever else is out there watching. Um, you know, um, you know we just, that's what we're here for. We want to promote these kids and get them as much attention and recognition as we can. From little devils up to big devils. If you got anything, get it to us. We'll put it on the air and uh, best we can. So. No, we're not on Pinterest um, yet. <laughs> yet. <laughs> so, I'm sure when Todd gets home, he'll uh, he'll get that up. But, I'll, uh, I'll Google and find out what Pinterest is. <laughs> don't let him fool you. So, anyways, well, Tiff County is we're late, and let's get out of here. And uh, I guess we'll see you guys in two weeks with a lot going on there. So, uh, for the Devil's Lair, I'm Randy Meadows, and I'm Todd Gann, and fear the pitch for it. Go Big Blue.